We're in Car Cave, USA, Aiken, South Carolina. We're starting the day. Actually, it's the end of the day. I don't know it said starting, but we're filming a 96 Land Rover Defender 90. Uh, we've been driving it. Runs great, spools out great, runs down the interstate. I think we ran up to about 85. It maintains good speed. It was well taken care of, has clean technical inspection from overseas. We serviced it. You know, we did some maintenance items. Has original paint, which you don't see too often. So original spot welds down the side, which is important. You want to look for on the defenders to show that you know they haven't been having paint and body work in there. You know, it has a few nicks, dents, stings, and scratches. It is like 20, what would that be? 27 years old now. So this has the 300 TDI, which is a 2.5 liter turbo diesel. Came out in the Defenders late 94. Um, the R380 transmission, which has your typical style with reverse to the right and back. Um, Full-time four-wheel drive. You have lockable LT230 transfer case. Your rover axles front and rear. And then the mods on this thing. Um, previous owner did some, we did some. You have your black checker plate on the hood, on the wing tops. We put on some new vents there. We kind of like the contrast. Um, white grills up front. So those are custom painted. Not something off the shelf, but we thought it gave it a unique look with the contrast there. Um, you have a 13,000 pound Rhino winch, a custom winch bumper. You have LED headlights and then LED marker lights all around. So these smoked out signals there. Let's see if we can. Oh, someone wired them backwards. <laughs> See, good thing we check things. I actually had that on my list, but the guys forgot that one. Well, no, untrue. We put the white grills on, someone reversed it. That was our apprentice. His name's Awesome Lawson. He got them reversed when he's putting them on. So we'll correct it before it goes out, but good thing we took a look there. Let me turn the key. So we get headlamps. So the LEDs are a lot brighter. It's good for uh, for safety because you'll outrun the headlights, the traditional ones. We can use old housings and put in LED bulbs, which is one look that we like. You know, it keeps it traditional. Um, 263,000 kilometers. Conversion's 0.62, so yeah. My math is bad, 125 plus the 30, 160,000 miles. Uh, back to the mods, you got the front winch bumper. Um, you got a skid plate up front. Someone put the Bearmock blue springs on it. Bearmock went out of business. Those are good springs, they ride well. Tires are brand new, we did them. We did a original um, five spoke alloy Land Rover wheel. And then the Yokohama Geolander 235 85 16. Rides well, you have the Nerf bar on here mud flaps, and then in the back, full-size spare, and then you have the 95 millimeter smoked fog light and reverse light, and then you have the marker lights here too. And someone custom designed this little bar. You can remove it, it just slides in the rear cross member, in and out, makes it a good step if you're trying to get up top. Mud flaps are newer, you have an aftermarket rear tire carrier, and then you know, the cross members clean. Usually you see that those have been replaced and cut and chopped into. This one's virgin. So that's another good thing about it. Um, you got a snorkel and then on the interior. You have some, we put in the Land Rover new floor mats. You have a Pioneer head unit, and someone went a little crazy on their audio. Someone was an audiophile. So you have an amplifier, and then some component speakers, some focals. The Bluetooth works, it sounds good. And then, what is it, Quantum ESX self-powered woofer. So it's kind of hidden back there. You don't really notice it inside the vehicle. Um, newly recovered front you know, vinyl black seats are easy to wipe down, matching console. 
you have aluminum shift knobs. In the back, you just have your typical bench seats. Those could be upgraded. You want jump seats? We put in tons of them. The headliner's new. Um, we had a upholstery guy redo it. They start to sag after a little bit of time. Your dash is clean. Usually those are cracked. It's all intact. Um, and the stereo jams out. It's subwoofer is actually a little bit much for the size of the vehicle. So whenever I've been driving it, I've kept the, the base down. So it's a pretty small enclosed cab. Someone did a diamond plate rear door. member Let's see the dash visors okay. so they kind of made their own custom speaker mount and you don't notice them sitting there behind the seat I'm gonna put a little top plate over we'll go over and get the hood up then we'll start her up here I do like driving this one. Like I was saying earlier, it spools nicely. It feels good going down the road. It's been maintained well. You know, it has good drivability. It's not a high dollar perfect restoration that's six figures, but she's going to get you where you need to go. My assistant Sheridan around here. Hey, Sheridan. Oh, you're hiding back there. Where do we take this one day? Oh, we took it to Dave and Buster's over in Augusta down the interstate. Yeah, we took this to Dave and Buster's in the rain. We got up to what, like 85 on the interstate? Yeah. Your brother was filming in the back? Yeah. Uh, which is good for one of these 300 TDIs. They're not the most powerful thing possible on the road. You know, it's a little 2.5 liter diesel. But, you know, they're spooling correctly when you can actually run interstate. Um, you know, I had to ship between 4th and 5th to keep it in that 73 to 83 range going down the road, but uh, very adequate. So you know when these are tuned right, that felt right in the range. All right, glow plugs. And full smoke and startup. Normal on these. I did review the maintenance file here before we got started, but we're Wipe down some hoses. A little bit of uh, pollen on the hoses here. The breeze in South Carolina. So, it runs good, it's smooth, and it's not obnoxious. We're fuming in here. We're in enclosed building, it's climate controlled. And I don't have all the service records memorized off the top of my head, but I think, if I remember correctly, off the website or off the write up I did. I think the time belt was done recently. Um, that might have been another one. Let me backtrack that one. Um, I'll, I'll make sure it's in the write-up. You want to see records, get a hold of us. You know, I'll provide what we've done. It's on the website. It's in writing there, so you can take a look at it. Here it is. Your vent plate. No EGR which gives these a little bit of power. They built them both ways. And if you look, we do have a lot of other defenders. So if you're here looking, we got uh, any given time, 20 to 30, you know, changes. Sometimes we sell a bunch in a week. Sometimes we sell, you know, one in a week. Got more in back. This one's a V8 in the corner. That's a V8 with a built motor. So we're going to do a full build on it. Nice G-Wagon. We have a good variety here at Car Cave. So another 300 TDI. Um, all original 40,000 mile 300 TDI. This is in for service. It gets used on the beach pretty regularly. It's a cool ride. Um, V8. Another V8. Another V8. They're kind of hard to source with left-hand drive, so... In the back here, you can tell that 
We do have a shop where we're working on them. So we do a lot of Land Rovers. Just got a head off the old FZJ. Uh, clutch slave cylinders and motor mounts. No, oh, I'm sorry, I got these two mixed up. Motor mounts, and we did injection pump and timing. Clutch slave cylinder, you can see the parts sitting up here. These fender covers are awesome. If uh, you're gonna be working on one, they have a hard plate in them. And then just throwing a carburetor on this gal, she's sold and going out. We have a bunch more coming in here soon. So if you need anything, call us, Car Cave, Fake in South Carolina, carcaveusa.com, 803-262-4742. Oh, there's the bulbs we were talking about. Cool. Have a great evening, day, morning, whatever time you're watching this.